Welcome to this quick Overwatch importing video. Let's get straight into it. Okay, first of all, what you wanna do is install Overwatch if you don't have that already. You need to make sure to have a version of Blender, preferably 4.0 or higher. Then you'll have to go join this Discord server. You'll have to go to tool releases in here and download the latest tool release. You don't have to worry about this download warning. Anyway, continue to download and just save it as whatever. Open that puppy up. You don't need WinRAR for this, but it's uh, nice to have. Now extract all of this to a folder, preferably onto my desktop. New folder, I'll call it Overwatch Day Data Tool. Okay, now that that's done, you have to go to uh, one of these messages. So there's a difference between these two. This is the actual tool, and this is the add-on for importing the models to Blender. So download that, save. Now you can open up Blender. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, Downloads. I usually like to keep my uh, sorting by modified date, at least in the download section. And then open up the Blender add-on file. Yeah, there you go. Enable that. Maybe save preferences. You don't have to do that, but it's nice. That way Blender is not going to forget that you have this add-on installed. Never. Now, as you can see, if you go to File, Import, you have this new Over Tools section. It's gonna give you a few of these options, but currently we don't have anything here because we don't have the program set up yet. So basically how you do that is you grab one of these command lines here. This is a good example right here. If you grab this line here, what you wanna do is go to your desktop, or in my case, the desktop where I saved this folder, open it up. Then what you wanna do is click here and type command or CMD. It will open up this command box and then you can paste this command line. And this command line is going to tell the program where to get your skins from and where to port it to. So basically what you want to do is check where your Overwatch is installed. Usually it's going to be in C program files 86 Overwatch, but just to make sure you should, you should check your drives. I currently on this PC, I only have one, so that's nice. So we'll have to see if that's right. Go to local disk, program files 86, and there we go. There's Overwatch, the Overwatch launcher. For me, that's correct, but you should check if this folder is in somewhere else. Now for the second thing, you want to check where you want to export your models to. To keep it a little simple now, I'm just going to create a folder on my desktop again. New folder. After you've created this folder, it's pretty nice if you save your own directories. And let me show you what I mean by that. What you want to do is look up Notepad or a similar program. Go back to the Discord server, grab this thingy here, grab this command line here, go back to Notepad and paste it in there. And then maybe mark it for like skin exports. Then what you want to paste here is where you have your Overwatch installed. So again, for me, that's just in this in this same location. And here is where you want to paste where your extract folder is. So for me, that's in desktop Overwatch exports. You click here, press Control C, go back here, select this area here, Control V, and there you have it. Now we're actually going to export a model. So I think Tracer is pretty good. Let's uh, keep it that way. So we're going to just completely copy this line. I accidentally closed my command prompt. So we're going to go back here. Press command again. If you have anything here, just delete it. Um, just paste the line you just copied. There we go. And press enter. As you can see, it is now busy exporting Tracer skin Overwatch 1. And there we go. In 20 seconds, we have our Overwatch 1 skin. Now we can go into Blender. Go here to file, import. Wait, let's delete everything first. It's kind of bothering me. File, import, over tools. Oh, there we go. Uh, what we need to do first is set our directory. You're going to have to do that in the same add-on section. Uh, expand this and here you have your data tool output path. And that's basically the same folder you made for your exports. So the Overwatch exports here, just copy this and put it in here. Save preferences, close it up. Now you can go into file, import, over tools, skin, wizard which is going to give you this pop-up menu. And then here you're going to see all the skins you imported. In our case, we only have Tracer, so we're going to select Tracer. And basically all the things in here, these are just like side meshes for like effects or something. You generally just want to go with Gameplay 3P because that's the normal model you see in game. And generally you want to keep all of these checked. So press OK. 
and there you have your model. Now here's a cool trick. If you don't want everything to be so gray in the viewport, you can go in here and select texture. Now you can see all the textures on your model. Pretty cool. Overwatch 1 models support this better. Overwatch 2 models have a lot of transparency issues, so they're not gonna look as good in the viewport shading, but then you'll just have to switch to EV shading or look dev shading. I don't know what this is called. Viewport shading. And that's where you're gonna find your fully shaded and textured Overwatch model. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, you can also import entire maps or just different skins or like every skin in the game all at once. And that's what this Discord server is for. Well, not solely that. You can also just hang out or share your crea creations with everyone. But of course, you can always ask for help. That's where you gotta remember that these, that these developers do this for free and they don't owe you anything. Now let's do everything one more time to show you how this will typically work after you've installed everything and are done. What I like to do is just import all the skins so that I don't have to worry about importing them when I do want to import a skin. I mean, it's not that difficult, but it's also not that difficult to ever export everything all at once. Uh, that's what this line does, this code. So copy that. We're gonna go back into our notepad, paste it here, and we can just paste this over to there, and then paste this over to there. Now we're gonna select all of this, copy that, go to the folder where we have our data tool, Go in here, press CMD, enter, control V, enter. Let that run for a while. This one is going to take a while. I am now regretting doing this because I'm going to have to wait for all this. You can just go to file, import, over tools, skin, wizard. There we go. As you can see, we have already imported Mercy Reaper and Tracer. Reaper. And then we're going to select Overwatch 2, gameplay 3, 3 pre. Uh, that's good. And there we have our Reaper. Pretty easy, right? Now you might have to meddle a little with the skeletons or these armatures because they are pretty wacky. As you can see, it's uh, sometimes difficult to uh, select the bones you want because they're all just dots in here. But you'll either get used to it or you can create your own little rig. I mean, it's not that difficult to go like, oh, I want to lengthen the leg bone. So we'll create, we'll grab the leg bone and then shift hide everything. Go to individual origins to see where the bone rotates from. Grab this end of the bone and then shift S and then selection to cursor. There you go. It's now easier to, to select the bone. And then you can do that for the arms too, for example. But yeah, that's been it. Uh, thank you for watching. It's been a while. Hopefully I'm back for longer this time. And yeah, see you soon.